great Sunday morning, December 22nd, second day of Christmas and 68 degrees. Great, great day. This weather is crazy, but I say enjoy it while we have it, okay? Yesterday was what, 62 degrees? <laughs> uh, I know a lot of us enjoyed. Um, so enjoy this day as well. Enjoy it while we have it. But um, on a serious note, this segment is going to be called uh, Tommy Sotomayor is not for everyone. And yes, I have to say it because uh, too many fellas, too many of you are just riding the Tommy Sotomayor bandwagon without self-reflecting, without, you know, questioning yourself or looking at the roles you have played in your relationships and why it has gone in the direction that it has gone in. Some of you fellas are, are, are very resentful towards women because you may not have a good relationship with your mom. You know, some, some of you may, weren't raised by your mom or some of you were and your mother did not have an upstanding character. And because your mom didn't have an upstanding character, you tend to see all women through the lens of your mom. Now, here's the sad thing with that. Many women, uh, women as, a, as a whole, I shall say, are going to have similar characteristics or similar ways in which we say things, do things, you know, that sort of thing, just because we are female. But it doesn't mean that we are just like the woman who broke your heart or the woman who let you down. It just means that we have similar characteristics because we are the same sex. All right. So for you fellas who who resent women because you have mother issues or fellas who resent women because an ex broke your heart and you haven't gotten over that that ex, Tommy Sotomayor is not for you. You have a lot of self-reflecting to do and a lot of healing to do. Problem, here's why. Men who resent women because of those two reasons and probably many others do not respect women. The level of disrespect that you have for women is immense and unbearable. No woman can stand that for too long. So you will always, always have problems in a relationship. And you may be thinking that it's her when it's actually you. Because you don't respect women overall. So Tommy is just a safe haven for, for, for many fellas. You know, it, it's a great place for fellas who are upstanding and who deal with the women who are deadbeats and women who are, aren't up to par. But it, there's too many of you who are in there, too many imposters. So let me just tell you, you don't, Tommy Sotomayor is just, is just a, how can I say, a crutch for you to not recognize who you are and for you to not deal with yourself as an individual. Anytime a man disrespects a woman, a woman could never see herself as being protected by that man. And if a woman don't think that you're going to protect her, she will never submit to you. Never. So you're always going to have problems with, with that woman. The next thing is, there's some men who has this problem. Let me read this quote. When I realize that my woman is my teammate, not an opponent that I have to defeat, my life changed drastically. I'm going to say it again. When I realized that my woman is my teammate, not an opponent that I have to defeat, my life changed drastically drastically. This quote is by Tony A. Gaskins Jr. There are some men who are dealing with th that issue where you cannot respect the fact that you're dealing with a woman who's very capable, very knowledgeable, very capable, and that in itself takes you out of your realm and puts you in a position where you have to disrespect her, her intelligence and her intuition because it is throwing you off because she's highly, because she's that capable and you can't find it within yourself to say, okay, you know what? This woman is very capable. Let me try a different way of, 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 of guiding her or a different way of, 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 of leading. 
let me just try to lead by showing her that I got I can do this I got the job you know fellas you have to get to a point where you are evolving this is the the Aquarian era the age of information I know I've said this before in a previous taping but there are women who have craved knowledge and seeked it and it's within them within us we had to learn to better equip ourselves for this world that we are living in because we did not have protectors so when you come across a woman who is very who is intelligent and highly capable your first instinct should not be to disrespect her intuition and her knowledge because anytime you do that you take her security away from her you don't know what that woman have went through to get herself to this level of knowledge and disrespecting her position is pretty much stripping away the experiences that she have had in life which built her to be the woman that she is that's standing before you you're going to have a problem in relationships if you do that to a woman you're going to have a problem if a woman chose to submit to you or chose to be passive but then you turn around and try to how how do I say it uh, program her to think that she's not who she is that's similar to emasculating a man to a woman emasculating a man you're going to have a problem hence Tommy Sotomayor is not talking to the men who have those type of problems he's dealing with men who are up to par who are dealing with women who have issues you are not the man to be listening to Tommy Sotomayor because you have issues and you need to heal yourself all right Tommy is a very powerful man and his message is truth it's truth I haven't followed him for years so I don't know if he's addressed this issue but the women in which he talk about has much deeper issues than just what he's talking about he's not taking into account that the very same women that he talk about are the very same women that society has deemed to be not beautiful to be beastly to be black to be ugly to be the underdog those are the very same women that everybody comes and dump their crap on. So those very same women have years of anger, rage, and hostility, animosity built within them. So they're just acting like animals because that's how they feel. You can look in these women's eye and tell that they think that they don't matter. You can tell that they weren't loved, half of them. So they're just dishing out what they've always received. All right, so they need a lot of healing. They need a lot of healing. And that's something that Tommy hasn't taken into account. And again, I don't know if he ever addressed that issue because I don't I don't watch his begin his earlier videos. I, I know nothing about his, how can I say, the inception of his program. All I can do is talk about from what I see, and that's this point moving forward. All right. Again, what he's saying is truth. But they, there are layers behind that. His, vet, his message is very powerful. His voice is powerful. It resonates. And, and for you guys who, who, who need help, who have issues with women, that's, that stems from your mom or that stems from a, 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 a bad relationship or a relationship gone bad, that is like a program to you or a crutch to you f which tells you, yes, I'm on the right uh, path. Yes, I'm on the right path. And no, it is not. Because that's not healthy for you. You're always going to have problems in relationships if you don't check yourself. You understand what I'm saying? The disrespect that you dish out, I don't know who you think you are. I don't know who you think you are, but it's time that you let that go. It's time you let that go. And you know what? It's equip that is that type of behavior is equivalent to how women treat men. Women who don't who didn't have their fathers in their lives or women who have had several heartbreaks. It is the same thing. So I often wonder how it is that men talk about women 